Hello out there everyone, my name is Missy. Thank you so much for stopping by my video today. I really appreciate it. There's not going to be a lot of extra talking in today's video other than the random chit chat of my husband and I as we are shopping on this Amish country, thrift-a-thon, birthday, celebration day. I really hope that you enjoy everything. We're going to be hitting lots of thrift stores, lots of thrifting. I'm going to show you everything that I pick up throughout the video, how I'm using it in my home, and some bonus pieces at the end that you do not want to miss. Buy an actual piggy bank. These must be like what they're considering hand-picked. Yeah. Because this is seven. This is considered the older toy. Mm -hmm. oh, I find it extremely interesting in the fact that what's on the bottom. Okay, nothing fancy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. 1963. Yeah. She did that one in 1964. Cute. These are 60 years old. That's crazy. I just think that's very interesting. Yeah, it is. This little guy's got a cute face. This is not the right section. For only $1.99, I brought this guy home and it will come out during the fall season and I will put this on the front of my stove and it will be absolutely adorable with that red color and those apples. Okay, we are back in Wilmot, Ohio. We are getting ready to go back in the Harvest Thrift Store. I had so much luck here the last time. I'm really excited to head back in here today. This little stand here is really neat. I wonder if it has the chicken in it, because I think that that would fit in my little shelf, depending on the size of the chicken. Hmm. And the open and check? Yeah. It's made in the table. Mm-hmm. In my side. Yeah. I just thought it was, I thought it was pretty. It's a pretty 
Okay, go. It's like a candy dish. Mm -hmm. It shakes. Mm -hmm. I like the little outfit. Yep, it's, it's very really cute. cute. And I'm thinking, worst case scenario, we could put like a little S or a little hook in there and I mm -hmm. can make it an ornament too. Oh, easy. Nothing to it. Easy peasy. Yeah. I think it's really cute. cute. I brought this guy right here home for 50 cents and that little painted lady with the chicken for $2.50. I think these will be beautiful Christmas ornaments. I'm loving putting together this vintage, unique Christmas tree, chicken themed, and I'm really excited about it. Oh, there's one down here. I might like that one better. What do you think? Yeah, it's got a lid. Yeah. I don't, I don't need the lid, but... I don't know. What do you think? I think you collect the jar, get the jar. I mean, do you like this one or do you like this one? This one has a larger top. Yeah, this, that one does have a better, looks like it has a better top. I don't know, this one's calling to me. Okay, there you go. I had been on the lookout for a large jar like this. You saw there I was kind of trying to decide between the two. I did go with this one. It was just speaking to me. It was $3 and what I'm wanting to use this for is like some fresh cut flowers in the summer. I didn't see that sitting there on the way mm -hmm. in. There's just so much stuff out here. Yeah. But yeah, isn't that nice? It is. And it rolls pretty well too. Yep. Yeah. You want to go ahead and like flip it up so we can see that it. Yeah, it still rolls pretty well. Yeah. Just like that, and I believe. Yeah. And then it hooks right there. I believe that keeps it up. Yeah. I was so excited to find this cart for $8.50. I have been looking for one of these for forever and I was so happy to find it now because I think it's going to be really handy moving things and oh kitty cat in the box moving things in and out of my booth especially because it collapses down and I can take it back and forth in the car. Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Missy and today we are thrifting in Amish country, Ohio and we are getting ready to go into the Save and Serve thrift shop. This is in Millersburg, Ohio. We have been shopping up here all day as part of my birthday celebration. My birthday was 18. Thank you to all of you who wished me a happy birthday. I really appreciate it. So we've been having some fun today on Saturday. I will show you what I pick up and how I'm using it in my home to give you some decorating ideas for all those awesome pieces that you're going to be thrifting.
Love you. Look at this thing. You see this for 45 like yep. this mm -hmm. thing that they've made looking yeah. to like a little fireplace? Yep. How cool is that? It's a foundry mold. Yeah. Very neat. Love you. I'll see you in a few minutes. The old door here is twelve dollars. And then the old saw. I remember when everybody was painting on these. That one is six dollars. This area up here in the front is always really cool, but it's also always a little more pricey. There's another crate there. That one's 25. It's $18. Some kind of like picket fence uh, shelf or something like that. $3, but I'm just not quite sure what it is. This little crate right here is eight. I'm always thinking of display pieces now for my new vintage booth as well, so I try to keep that in mind when I'm looking at everything. And then they have another one of these shutters right here, which I'm really loving. And I believe the price they had on them was 35. Yeah, 35. These shutters were just too good to pass up. They were $35. Um, my husband did do a little work on this and he put the hinges kind of on them for me so that they would go together as kind of like a divider. And there is just so much that I am wanting to try to do with these shutters. I think they will be beautiful to put some hooks on the top of them the way they kind of had them in the store with the wreaths. I could put more plants on here. I could put signs here. I just think it really finishes off this front little or this little area right here inside the house by the front door. I did kind of center things up a little bit so that it would be even on that side and the side of the window. Um, it's not necessarily um, centered up now under the bar where I hang my backpack but kind of with the shutters and the church pew it's kind of all centered together there now. Some gourds. Are those birdhouses? Yeah. So little gourd birdhouses. 25. 30 on that one. Looks like a vintage. Ice cream bucket there. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh yes. Country morning. Country morning. I love that. Let's 
see. Oh no, I don't see a price. It does have teeth on it to hang it. Oh, that is really cool. So that's going to go into my cart. They only charged us $3 for this at the counter, and it's probably my favorite find. Look at all those adorable eggs. That is so adorable. The good thing is, is I have real eggs. <laughs> oh, cast iron skillet. 30 on that guy. Oh, a nice heavy trivet. I do like that too. That is 15. That is a really, really cute display. I'm going to try to reach back here. Grab out. Oh my goodness. This chicken. 25. Look at the cute little cuddle. It's very heavy, too, like a doorstop. Oh, be careful. Be careful. Eight dollars, treasure craft, made in USA. I do you like this though? I think I may grab that. Carefully put that over here, and then we'll put this back. I have to clean things back up here. All right. Oop. Here is the cookie jar that used to be on the top of my refrigerator and I have a different piece there now, but I grabbed this trivet. What I had in my mind when I saw it was that it would be perfect for a chicken to be sitting on because it was that perfect oval shape and it looks adorable. Does it slide back? I'm not sure. It's a very, oh, it's like purplish crate and barrel, $8. There's just so much to look at. See this stand. Whoop. Whoop, no price tag. What's this here? This big blue vase. Whoop. $12 on there. I just decided to go ahead and get it because I know I can use it in my booth. Okay. It's like a chip and dip. Yes, it does. All hooked on to one. Put a little fresh garden salsa in that. Fresh garden salsa? Mm -hmm. So there's no egg cartons. Okay. The the tractor supply up here had 10 for, or 15 for $10. Oh, egg cartons? Yeah. Mm. It's a big old basket. $2.50. Wish it was a little bit darker.
we're back here now where the prices are substantially less. USA, 75 cents. Oh, it does have a crack. That's pretty. Dollar. Yeah, I think I'm going to get that. I think that would look pretty in my booth for spring, and it's only a dollar. I was like, that basket is awesome, but it says not for sale. Yeah, of course. Uh huh. Of course. That yeah. basket is for all This one's six dollars. It's cool, but it's not as awesome as that one. I'm That's sure okay. From enough money to get this. I don't think so. Mm. Hmm. All right, let's get into these bonus pieces. So that little white doily on top was $1.99. And then I also got this beautiful vintage green tablecloth and it was $5.99. Now these are some stores that I did not film in. And then I wanted to start collecting some beautiful silver plate spoons to keep in this ironstone mug in my curio cabinet. So I did find one of those and I believe it was $3.99 or $2.99. I got that adorable jar there with the coffee and the wooden lid. It was made in Taiwan and it was 99 cents. I also got this adorable rattan chicken hanging. It is gorgeous. I absolutely love it and I believe it was $6 and it looks adorable here on my cork board. This big terracotta piece of a farm is stunning. My husband found this one. This one was a little more pricey. I believe it was $19.99, but it has taken the place on the top of my refrigerator where my chicken cookie jar used to be that you saw earlier in the video. So I thought I might collect these terracotta pieces and kind of use them on top in a collection on top of the refrigerator i did find a piece a while back that was a little cookie mold i believe and it would look really cute up there as well we also found these gorgeous roseville pasta bowls they were nine dollars and 99 cents we were so happy to have found four of them together absolutely beautiful and they are in here in the cabinet with our red fiesta bowls and then i actually finally hallelujah finished my wagon wheel light we found the other chimneys that we needed on this day and it looks absolutely stunning and perfect in my dining room i hope that you have enjoyed this video today thank you so much for being here i really appreciate it let me know down in the comments what your favorite item of the video today was and take care everybody